I'm not sure why everyone's panicking about picking a major. I've known my favorite field of study since I was four years old, and that's mortuary science, obviously. Oh crap, the paperwork to declare a major is due today? Uh, I'm just gonna have to tell them the truth, that my dog ate it. My home dog Timmy, that is, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that party last night got really weird. Thanks for meeting with me, Dean Higgins. I know you're a busy guy and you don't normally meet with students, so I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Which major will put me in the best position to take over your job? Because I am not happy with the way things are being run around here. I really need an extension with the deadline to pick a major because I need to find something perfect, something that fits me like a fine cashmere sweater. I wanna walk away from my college experience thinking, did I pick my major? Or did my major pick me? So my mom wants me to go into nursing because she loves to see young men defy gender stereotypes. But my dad wants me to go into drama because he's a failed actor. And then my brother, well, what do you want to study? Well, I'm glad you asked me that because I was about to ask you what you think I think I should study. If I play my cards right, I can pull off the rare triple major. So many people have told me it's impossible that I kind of have to do it at this point. Just put me down for whatever major, I don't care. I'm here for the college experience, okay? The parties, the football games, playing frisbee out on the quad with my boys. This whole education thing, it's really an afterthought. Economics is a field that will always be around, so I think it's a safe bet. At the same time, I realize we live in an ever-shifting global landscape, so maybe I should diversify my resume with a double major. Let's do economics and applied economics. Well, since you all don't offer a baseball studies major for some ungodly reason, I guess I'll have to go with Woodworking. Be advised, it's a lot of independent study with no interaction with other people. Sign me up now. If I hit philosophy in the mornings and physics in the afternoons, then that leaves the evenings free for some casual and carefree chemical engineering. I'd like to thank the student council for convening on such short notice. Now, some people might say that it's a terrible idea to pick a major by committee. And to that I say, what committee told you that? Seriously, I need to know. Give me names. I'm just calling to make sure that my roommate Timmy stopped by to finish up the paperwork for my major. Oh, he didn't. Well, looks like Timmy's gonna be majoring in a world of pain. I just found out you can design your own major. Now I just need to find an academically respectable way to fuse my passion for unstructured time with my relentless love for internet culture. I won't let my dreams just be memes. Look, I know you guys don't normally let students graduate with a degree in undeclared, but hear me out. Okay, go on. Uh, sorry, I didn't expect to make it this far in the conversation, so I don't really have anything else to say. I figured you'd just say no and I'd start crying. I still might start crying. It's an app that uses your Twitter history to generate a word cloud, which is then compared to word clouds from every area of study, and then it spits out a compatibility quotient. It's like Tinder for your college major. And it says I should do something called bird studies, and I think I accidentally just swiped right. I somehow misread the college brochure when I was applying. It turns out that what this school has is an astronomy program. What a Leo Virgo cusp Capricorn Sun thing for me to do. My original plan was to pursue nursing, but it turns out I'm too squeamish for all that blood. So now I'm thinking something more mild and wholesome, like history. Why are you looking at me like that? Did something bad happen in history? Who knows, I might even be able to squeeze in a music minor on the weekends. Wow, how are you gonna keep up with all that homework? Homework? Is that like a requirement? On second thought, we dropping out. Sunday, tune into this channel for FJ News, the introvert source for random and humorous news stories to fill up those long, awkward silences during small talk. This week, we've got breaking news on the comeback of self-proclaimed introvert Ellen DeGeneres, a tiger on the loose in Tennessee, and singer Alanis Morissette's decision to unschool her three children. That and more this Sunday.